So I also saw an interview where you sent your dick pic to Ben Man Kevo. Why? <laughs> why did you do oh, that? Oh, you go go there, huh? Oh, oh shit, you go go there. No, well, why did you do that? Well, oh, uh, I felt compelled to do it because he sent me a bunch of pictures of him with his shirt off, lifting weights, <laughs> lifting heavy weights. Oh, oh. And I mean, he sent me a, a, at least seven and eight pictures. And he sent them to me in the middle of the night. So I feel like he was challenging me. Showing all his goddamn muscles. See, back then, my arm wasn't looking like this here. So I didn't have no other muscles to send him. So I sent him the best muscle I had that I thought that would, you know, can, can compete with other people's muscles. So I sent him my muscle. Uh, and I ain't just sent him a picture. I sent him a video. And I was putting grease on my muscle. You know, like how you grease, he was greasing his arm? Yeah, I was greasing mine. And shook it at him and sent it to him. And uh, he texted me back saying, uh, I'm gay as hell. And I'm saying to myself, man, nigga, you saw my dick. I ain't see your, my dick is on your mind. Your dick ain't on mine. Uh, I know what your belly look like, but you know what my dick look like. So, nigga, nan, nan, the boo boo, I win. You can't never forget this motherfucker. Yeah, you can't get this off your mind. Once you see another man's dick, you can't remove that image out of your mind. So, I branded my dick in his brain forever to get my lick back because I can't get them pictures out of my mind with him lifting that motherfucking shit up with that fake body doing me like that. So, shit, uh, yeah, a fur exchange is not a robbery. His manager nicknamed you Cockring Charlie after that. Well, because because the four inches looked it bigger than what it was, right? I knew the right angle to take. You know, I knew to suck my belly in and hold the camera up like this here to make that four inches look like eight inches, mm -hmm. right? So I'm circumcised. I don't have the turtleneck dick. I got the circ. I got the bell head, the mushroom head. So around around the circumcised penis, it got the circumcision ring. So he saw that circumcision ring, but I didn't send him the dick. So how he even see the dick? I sent it to band man Kiwi. Kiwi said, hey man, this nigga sent me a dick. And he said, let me see it. He looked at it and said, man, he got a cock ring on, but he was looking at the circumcision ring. I yeah, see. so yeah, so he was looking at a circumcised penis with a circumcision scar as most penises have when you've been circumcised and cut off the foreskin. So maybe he's never seen a circumcised penis before. So, uh, and just for the record, I did not send it to, to his manager. I sent it to Kiwi. And, and because of him, I now have some cock rings coming. They should be here within the next two weeks on the market. They're called the Charlies. Oh, so you're selling them now? Yeah, I'm selling them. Now. I got my own line of cock rings now. Do you use them yourself? I have them, but I'm going to use them as soon as they come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say it keeps your cock harder. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, congratulations. That's, yes, ma'am. That's really I cool. I hope y'all buy some and see if they'll use them on here sometime. Yeah, you got to get in here and use them on here. Yeah, maybe we can do it. <laughs>